we are going on a food tour in Saigon by a motorbike. And we'll be trying some exotic, interesting local street food like. Well, you're going to have to watch the video to find out, but it's uh, certainly interesting. All right, let's get into it. We are Kylie, Casper and Ella, an Aussie Danish family who loves traveling the world and exploring new countries. If you would like to follow us on our journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. We're just about to get ready for our motorbike food tour here in Saigon, but at the moment it's pouring down, so we might have to wait a few moments before we get on those motorbikes and head off to our first stop. I think we're gonna get a wet butt. <laughs> <laughs> You look so cute! Ready to go. That was fun! And we didn't get too wet, <laughs> but yeah, good fun. I All definitely right. didn't get wet. I'll use this beer. Thank you, you're too happy. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. <laughs> so, what is that? Banana blossom. Okay, mm. banana, banana blossom. Banana blossom, the water morning glory. Okay. The, the last one, the bean sprout. Okay. You put everything in here. Okay. With a bit like this. Good. We'll mix it up. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah. You need to take the broth first. Mm. How was it? Yeah, it's good, us. Okay. It's very flavorful. It's good. Uh, definitely no more chili because <laughs> might start getting a bit spicy, but very good flavor. Okay, so I cannot use chopsticks at all. So they made me this little invention, like almost like a scissor, but so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Something nice about this tour is that we're all eating together. Our scooter, <laughs> our scooter drivers slash guides are eating with us. I feel like we're hanging out with our friends tonight. I'm putting lots of lime in mine. It just adds like a delicious freshness. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The meat is really tender. And I haven't had the, the round noodles before. I've only had the flat mm. Vietnamese noodles. Oh, awesome. So this is different, trying different noodles tonight. 50 to 100 different Vietnamese noodles. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> A lot of the restaurants here, they actually specialize in one different type of broth, and that's why they do so well. If you go to a restaurant that have a lot of different types of meals, they might not do as well, as opposed to those restaurants that specialize just in the one thing. So we just arrived at a cafe and they actually have a citrine in here, so I guess a bit of French influence. My mom actually used to have a citrine pretty much similar to this one here, but in yellow, but that's probably 30 years ago now. This cafe has a secret bunker. Follow me, let's yep. go. Oh my gosh, there's a trap door. <laughs> Our motorbike guide just left us. <laughs> All right, you wanna go, Ella? Uh, okay. How do you feel about this, Ella? I'm not sure, to be honest. Never done anything like this before. A cafe with a secret bunker. Can I fit my butt down here? Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> my, my butt fit down here. I can't believe people used to like sleep down here at night. That's crazy. So we're currently going up this other really tight staircase to another area, so. Oh my God, so dark. I can see there's a ladder up the top. Oh my god. Are <laughs> we in a bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello. We're in a bathroom. That's an interesting exit. Thank you. Whoa, that we actually were so deep. That was all sorts of really cool and really strange. I did not expect to be going in a bunker today. So cool, it's got all these vintage antiques. We're trying roasted chicken right now and it's coated in chili, so it looks a little scary, but I'm excited to try it. Yep. And apparently it only took seven minutes to cook over the grill over some charcoal, so let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mm. 
Oh my god. Mm. This could be the best chicken I've ever had. So the chili is not very spicy at all. It has like a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So right. chili and little sugar or little honey. Yeah, mm. it's so good. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. So this almost tastes like mango and sticky rice that we eat in Thailand. Uh -huh. Except for this is with banana. So yeah. we just have the banana flavor instead of the mango flavor, but it's really delicious. I love the coconut sauce. Yeah. It yeah, is it's so nice, yeah. delicious. I could drink it. Delicious. So the shop where we just had the banana and sticky rice, apparently it's one of the most famous places in the city to get this particular dish. And they sell more than 500 bananas a day. Because it's raining right now, it's not as busy. But normal times, there can be a really long lineup down the street just to eat their banana with sticky rice. Off we go again to the next meal. We just arrived at our next stop. We're actually in Chinatown at the moment. We are now going to try some Vietnamese pancakes, some different types of pancakes. There's some really large ones, so there's some smaller ones made of egg with rice flour and turmeric powder. And then there's another one as well over here that was with rice flour and I think tapioca flour with egg. And then they put the shrimp in there and some sort of mushrooms and pork. It's really interesting to see how they make all of this. She put this batter onto a hot pan and yeah, oh, now putting an egg onto it, breading this out. So far it's looking a little bit like a dosa or a pancake. Now she's put the lid on, so I guess it's kind of like steaming it. So there's a Vietnamese pancake over there which looks absolutely delicious. It's being fried in like a wok. I can see some shrimp in some batter as well that all looks delicious. Oh, you can feel the heat from the cooking. Did you meet a friend? I did meet a friend. So cute. Alright, I'm gonna taste it too. Mm. You can taste the rice, you can taste yeah. the eggs, you can taste the beef, and then the yummy fish sauce on top. Oh my god. It's nice, it's isn't it? So good. It almost tastes a little bit like a dumpling. So we're going to try the Vietnamese pancake now, and it comes with lots of greens. This tastes like licorice. I feel like if, if I was closing my eyes and I put this in my mouth, it was it tastes exactly like a licorice. Yeah. Yes. It pretty much brings me back to Denmark where you eat a lot of licorice. Yeah. So the smell and the taste is quite fishy. So oh we thought this would be a fish yeah. mint. Fish mint? It yeah. actually tastes like fish. Yeah. It does taste a bit fishy. <laughs> Strangest thing I've ever tasted. So it's you take the, the mint leaf and then kind of rub it against some fish? Is that how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like the ocean. It actually tastes like the ocean. Yeah, that's so strange. Mm. How's that's that? So along? good. You can taste the seafood, you can taste the fresh leaves, everything. You can taste the Vietnamese pancake and then you've got the chewy that's rice paper on the outside. So good. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like a flavor bomb. Yeah, it's like. I don't even know how to describe it. So what I noticed in Vietnam is that they like to mix all the different kinds of meat together. This is something that we don't do in Australia. Uh, so this is really interesting for us to try it like this. The fish mint, it goes really well with the prawn. I guess if you're a vegetarian, you take out the prawn and put a bit extra fish mint in there yeah. to compensate. <laughs> Here we go again. We are having so much fun tonight. We did not expect that we'd be eating so much. I think we're trying like 15 dishes, but the tour has been absolutely amazing. The best thing about this tour is that they've been eating with us and just treating us like friends. And it's been absolutely amazing to see Saigon through the eyes of a local and try all their amazing dishes. A highlight of the trip as well is scooting around on this motorcycle, which has been so much fun. And the best drivers, very safe. We definitely recommend. Yay! <laughs> that was so cool going through the alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> and just straight through the people. Okay. 
Get up here. That was so cool. We are currently at the flower market and this place is just bursting with life. It is so busy here. It's actually open 24 hours a day. So it's a wholesale market and people come here to buy their flowers for weddings and for funerals and for parties. It's really beautiful and the flowers smell gorgeous. So I just found out that you can actually get silk from the inside of the lotus stem. Apparently the traditional Vietnamese dresses are actually made of that and are very, very expensive. So yeah, how interesting. We have just spotted some chicken feet. They look like a baby's hand. Wow. It has, oh, it has like fingernails and all the fingers and like the texture of a hand. It looked like little like E.T. hands. Would not want to try that. Oh, I think they just asked if we want to try it. So what is it called, Ella? Oh, it's called a star apple. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very sweet, very juicy, it's yummy. We have just arrived at the Cambodian market after going through the flower market. Already I am greeted with so many different smells. Like fish, I, I'm getting like a barbecue smell, like charred smell, um, like spices, all sorts of different smells. This is certainly one busy market. So we were told that they have Japanese food, Korean food, Cambodian food, also Vietnamese food. Yeah, so many different types of food and the food looks so good. So apparently there are a lot of Cambodians living here in Vietnam. The influence from Cambodia obviously comes from sharing a common border with Vietnam for most of the southern parts of Vietnam. Also a lot of Cambodians actually migrated to Vietnam during the civil war in Cambodia. Interesting street food they sell here so we're going to explore some of it. We've just arrived at our next stop and we're going to be trying some Vietnamese barbecued food. So beef with lemongrass and beef with beetle leaf wrapped around it. Really excited to try this. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit of hot job here. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay. Let's try one of these here. Okay, so beef inside the beetle leaf here. Let's try it. Really tasty. Very juicy. Mm, full of flavor. Let's get the offer. Mm, really I'm trying some beef mince that's wrapped around lemongrass, so it's grilled on the barbecue and it has a bit of cheese on top, so let's try it. Not too spicy, just really flavorful. Yummy. I guess that's the fun thing about doing these food tours with locals because we would never find this place. Like we would never normally come here. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Probably looks a little bit dodgy. A lot of the paint is peeling off. It looks like a mirror that's been there on the wall for the last 20 years. And up on the wall they have some photos of girls. They almost look like they used to be a hairdressing salon. <laughs> but nevertheless the food is delicious. And if the locals are eating here then it must be good. So we're eating snail and pork together. Okay. We eat the fish sauce with it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Cheers. One, two, three. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. I can yeah, taste I lots of ginger here. actually. <laughs> Where's my heart being so fast? I don't taste now. I taste ginger, chili, and like a pork consistency. So that's good. I have no idea what I was expecting. <laughs> But yeah, that's actually a good surprise. Okay. I actually really like that. Okay. They're taking out the bone? Yeah, we just have the skin chicken feet like this. Oh, so it's basically just the skin? Yeah. Isn't that really chewy? A little bit crunchy. Yeah. A whole one? Yeah. That's a big commitment. Yeah. Do you see the resemblance? I need chicken feet. Not really sure what I think oh my God, about it. Jelly. It's jelly and it looks like little fingernails. Ah. Yeah? <laughs> That wasn't the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> oh my god! He got a chicken bit. Yeah, he ate it. For lamb. I can taste ginger. Yeah. And a bit of chili. Yeah. And a not so pleasant texture. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> Five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. Oh my god. 
Is it moving? Like the effect of is it walking in your <laughs> is it walking around in your mouth? Ha ha! She cannot finish. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I did it. When I first put it in my mouth, all I could feel was a gelatinous jelly kind of texture. As I was chewing, I could feel the knuckles in the feet. They were like all bony, especially when I saw these guys hoeing into them. So I'm like, it's mind over matter, mind over matter. I can do this, I can do this. We surely did do that. And I did it, and I did it. Oh, <laughs> it smells very eggy, but it looks a bit like an egg that's been lying way too many months in the sun. <laughs> One, two, three. Tastes like a yolk. It's not too bad. Just the thought of the embryo in there is um, not appealing. Oh. It just tastes like an egg. Okay, so Vietnamese pizza, so it's made from a rice flour. It has uh, corn, spring onions, and some sausage on it, and some, some cheese as well. So let's try it. Very tasty, I like the fancy base. Okay, my turn to try it. That's so good. It kind of tastes like a pizza. So the base is actually rice paper and it's really crispy and thin. That's just how I like my pizzas. It's been really informative as well, just learning a little bit about the history of the food and how it's made. Do you really taste the culture through the food? What an amazing food tour. We had an awesome night tonight. We certainly tried some delicious and very interesting food tonight. <laughs> we really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and we'll see you next time on Living, Living the, the Joe Life. Life.